We're going to break down some Cowboys free agency winners and losers. Uh, the losers were easier. Before we get into that, great Cowboys free agency. A, B, C, D, or F. Go ahead and sound off for me in the comment section right now. The number one loser sure seemed pretty obvious to me. It's us, the fans. This is a horrible free agency for Dow. That's why, that's why so many of those grades are going to be super low. The Cowboys signed one outside free agent. That's it. That's all this team felt the need to do. And sure, I bet when it's all said and done, they'll end up signing a, a few more. They'll end up adding a, another you know, veteran offensive lineman in some capacity. Maybe they'll find the defense tackle. They'll do maybe another corner or, or something. Maybe they add a back post draft. But this team, there's no way that they can tell anyone that, yeah, we tried to get better. Or our plan was to win more games this year. They, they didn't do anything. They chose not to make moves. And not only that, they also chose not to make moves to actively get worse, as in like rebuild. They didn't want to rebuild, and they didn't want to go be aggressive. They're kind of like, let's see if nothing works. Let's see. We've tried nothing, and we're out of options. Really? It Honestly, it really does seem like we, you, me, even producer Chris, care more about this team having success than ownership does. Sometimes it just seems like this is just another thing in their portfolio to, to maximize revenue. Here is the spending, waivers, additions, extensions, etc. this offseason. So new money spent on players. Could be re-signings even. Look at this. $11.13 million for the Cowboys. That is it. The Chargers, who are clearly rebuilding and retooling and not spending because they had some bad contracts, $39 million. New co coach in there. The Saints, $52 million. Most of their money spent on restructures. Denver, dumped their quarterback. Also retooling, $54-ish million. The Bengals, who are historically one of the cheapest franchises in football, $72 million. And they, these teams all signed players. We're talking about a 7x difference between the Cowboys and the fifth cheapest team in the NFL. That's unbelievable. They don't care. They have not spent any money. And it is frankly an embarrassment to the Dallas Cowboys that this team is like, why spend money? Oh, we're poor. Help us out. They're not. They're, they are not at all. So who would you rather have as GM? JB for the Jones boys or me, TD? It's the pinned comment on the video. Go vote if the ad comes here on YouTube. Look, finding winners was hard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, number one, I'm going to go with Brock Hoffman. With Tyler Biotish gone and the loss of Tyler, Tyron Smith, it becomes tough to see Dallas and all these other needs too choosing to take two starting off It's possible, but every chance this team gets, they kind of keep sending, leaking. the. We like Brock Hoffman quite a bit. I saw some good stuff from him this past year in a small sample size. You know, five hurries allowed. The run blocking grade was not very good, but I thought that they ran the ball better at times. And if you want to cheat, by the way, and put TJ Bass slash Brock Hoffman on this winner's list, I do get it. Um, I think there is a decent chance that this team drafts one offensive lineman with their first three picks. And however it all plays out, somewhere TJ Bass and Brock Hoffman are fighting or in one of them starting this upcoming year. Maybe they, maybe they find somebody else. I'd be happy about that. I think there is a real chance that, you know, Hoffman, this team seems to, to like him. Now, they loved Matt Farniak last year, and that was he was so bad he got cut and didn't make the practice squad. So you can excuse me if I am if I am a little bit anxious about uh, going riding all in with Hoffman this upcoming year. The Cowboys will focus their upgrades on the draft, and the new 2024 NFL draft hats are out. They will be in the comments section and the description on today's show. 
chatsports.com slash Cowboys draft hat. It is not to the Cowboys website, so do keep that in mind. I would click on the links, by the way, look at the photos. You can kind of see it there. Uh, the design they did this year was kind of like a, a shadow effect of the different team colors behind the actual Cowboys star icon. So you should look at it to, to get a good feel for it, to make sure you actually like that front style. Uh, don't just blind it or buy it all blindly there. Check out the comments section, chatsports.com slash Cowboys draft hat. Links in there. Loser number two, Mike McCarthy and company on the coaching staff. You know, you, you, you guys know that I didn't want to bring back Mike McCarthy. Um, he is clearly coaching for his job. And in the process of this being a, I got to do everything possible to, to make this happen, he is dealing with a worse roster right now. If... Honestly, if I were Mike, I'd be pretty pissed. Like, oh, you're, you're making me do more with less. Why, why, why are you making my job harder when we can do things to make our team better? I would be upset. The lack of desperation from the Cowboys' true decision makers does not trickle down to Mike McCarthy. I didn't want him back, but I honestly feel bad for him. Because this, he's being set up to, if not fail, at least not succeed the way we all want to. So prediction time. Will Big Mike be the Cowboys head coach in 2025? Y for yes or N for no. Winner number two. Again, we're, we're trying here. Let's go to Rico Dowdle. There are very few good backs on this team's roster right now. And Rico Dowdle if the year ended right now, would be this team's starter. Um, he's not getting paid very much. He has to still earn even a roster spot. But we're talking about somebody who has a chance to at least be RB2 again. And I don't think he would have had an RB2 spot really anywhere else in the NFL. He's a chance to earn that role this year in Dallas. That makes him a winner for me. Loser number three, J. Ron Curse. Remember all the jokes made about, ah, J-Ron's going to be a commander? Not sure he's going to be. They added Jeremy Chin, who's better, to play the J-Ron curse role. So I kind of suspect that he might have, be having a tough time finding a job. Uh, I'm going to have to wait for a while uh, in terms of that. I kind of don't want him back either. I'm not sure where he goes in the end. So I, I did put him on the loser side as a result. Now, are you looking for daily Dallas Cowboys YouTube videos, positive or negative? This is the place for you. Hit that sub button right now. Winner number three, Sam Williams. Now, this is a pivotal offseason for him. He is going to be challenged like he hasn't been challenged before uh, by Mike Zimmer, but the opportunity is here for him right now. He has been up and down, shown flashes. Uh, the consistency, the mistakes are all significant red flags for this team. But he has a chance to make a big impact here. Right now, he's edge rusher number three for a team that will rotate edges. And with light draft capital, they might not spend a premium pick on one. He has a lot of snaps to replace with Dante Fowler gone and Dorrance Armstrong gone. Sam Williams is the first one up to take advantage of that, if he can prove it and prove himself to Mike Zimmer. Who is the single biggest Cowboys free agency winner so far? Drop that player name or coach name or whatever in the comments. Loser number four. It's the defensive tackle room for me. Look at how thin they are right now. Osa Odigizua, Mozzie Smith, Chauncey Golson, who plays some end for them maybe? And Carl Davis. It's a bad defensive tackle room, man. The Cowboys are primed to lean heavily on Mozzie Smith, and I'm optimistic Mike Zimmer can get the most out of him. I'm not confident in it necessarily. But I also question if the right supporting cast is in place. How are you? You got all these needs to fill. Can you find another good defense tackle to, to, to help out your current guys, Mozzie, Golston, and, and Osa? You, you need help there. And you've kind of, like, this Cowboys team was like, we want to get better against the run, D, and better on the ground. And their answers have been, we've done nothing and only lost guys. 
That scares me. It really does. It, I know how this, this works, and you do too. If the Run D struggles, everyone will blame Mozzie, even if it's not his fault. He cannot be out there and, ah, it was Mozzie's fault because he should have been out there type of deal. Ah, it was Mozzie's fault. They ran the other way. There are plenty of reps where it is his fault. He better be at Golden Crown every weekend getting, getting out, weight back on. It is a massive year for him, even just being a second-year player. But I would be anxious about this team doing the things to make the entire run defense better and helping out everybody else as well. That gives me anxiety. Winner number four, Jalen Tolbert. Uh, Michael Gallup's gone. Again, I don't know if they're going to find a way to get more receiver options out there, but Tolbert is in line as of now to be wide receiver three. I think he can be it. I would not be opposed to finding an upgrade at wide receiver, but again, how many spots have I said that about? I can't fill all of them. So the Cowboys might give some of those young guys, Tolbert, Williams, Mozzie, Hoffman, Dowd, et cetera, give them chances, see how it goes, which I don't love. Loser number five, the Jones boys. Who respects them right now? Like, everyone's mad at them. Like, everyone's upset with the way they've handled their business in the offseason, and they should be. Who do you think? is the single biggest Cowboys free agency loser. Sound off for me in the comment section right now. Number five winner. This is how hard it is to find winners in free agency. I'm just going to go off the field and say congrats to a couple of new dads uh, on the Cowboys roster. You know, Dak Prescott has had his kid. Zach Martin had his kid, uh, I think, at the start of the month or end of last month, whatever it was. Wanye Thomas just, just had his, his child as well. So congrats to those three, and that tells you how desperate things are. We're talking about free agency, and one of the winners is they, had, they became dads, or dads again in some cases. That's not, mm, that's not a good sign, but congrats at least to Dak, Zach, and Wanye.